And welcome back, everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for part two of our sub battle stream. That's right, this is where I play against sub subscribers for the, the stream today. I play a different deck every round. The subs bring their awesome brews, and this is a lot of fun. So far in part one, which I hope you, you checked out if you're watching over on YouTube also, hope you checked out that video. Um, I, I um, started, I got a lead. I guess that's what I should say. I got a lead. Team chat's going to be coming back, though. So everybody here in chat is cheering on our next um, opponent, which is going to be Ganaris. For how I decide what deck to play, I take this wheel and I spin this wheel to see what deck is up next. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel. Let the wheel decide. What deck am I playing? So I'm playing a different deck every round. So it looks like we got Abzan hero we had 45 decks on here now we're not going to be we're not going to have time for 45 matches but we had 45 decks on here to begin with all right so challenge match best of three and we're doing abzan hero so i'm going to go ahead and show the deck first where is it at don't think it should be this far down Hmm. I'll find it eventually. Maybe it is this far down. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Abzan Hero. You know, so we're playing um, a lot of multicolor spells with Hero of Precinct 1, Kethis the Hidden Hand, all of that kind of stuff. All right, so here we go. No, direct challenge, there we go. All right, good luck, Ganaris. <laughs> yeah, the deck doesn't exist. This is, you think this is your, this is your favorite deck? Over here, Rogobop, nice. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one for sure. All right, Alphaneer. Have a good day, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I have the the tag wrong. Why does it do that? I want to go direct challenge. So it's there's a second five in here. Okay. You can make one or two competitive decks. Which should you craft? That's honestly like that's a, that's a pretty hard question to answer because. You know, different people like like playing different decks. Like, you you really need to craft decks that you enjoy playing. Like, that's the number one thing. You gotta gotta enjoy playing your decks um, whenever you craft them. So zero zero five five seven. Okay. Um, Sultai decks are looking really good right now. Yeah, you kind of like Simic. Okay. Well, Simic, Simic is, there's a lot of great stuff with Simic with, with Oko and everything. I kind of just recommend checking out, um, yeah, yeah, like Simic food, Sultai food. That's, that's probably where you want to be. Probably, you know, like those, that's like the metagame with like all sorts of different decks on there. Um, is something, Ganaris, like so Ganaris, if you're if you're watching this, like what what's wrong here between what I have here and what you have here? What's what's wrong between there's either something that, that you have wrong or something I have wrong here. Okay, so that that's a good sign. So that means that we were getting there. So now yeah, now Ganaris just change over to best of three. This one right here just got changed to best of three. Hey, Jazzabek. Okay. Um. 
I played so Shoopy, I played a Sultai mid range deck that I think is really strong yesterday. If you check out the the YouTube channel, if you want like the the Sultai deck that I think like that I I would be playing right now, check that out from yesterday's stream. What's my favorite mode of MTG? Um. I mean, standard's definitely up there. I do like standard quite a bit. This is tough. Let's do this. Um, I always like cube drafting, too. Cube draft is a whole lot of fun. Temple. Can't really cast that thing. So I should have more land somewhere else. Yeast. Sorry, excuse me. I wish I had a Legion's End. Hey, Pedro. So obviously, like Mortify, Questing Beast, Othakaya, the Gilded Goose, those are my number one options. We'll just go with Mortify. I, I'm not really expecting a counter spell. I think I can wait till their turn. Make sure there's not another Questing Beast. <clears throat> Still have only found the one land that Once Upon a Time found. We know the bottom five cards. None of those are lands. What a strange and magnificent world. The land shall conquer you. Oh, we get the land. No land yet. Fight on without me. Hey Tank, what's up? We well, that's fail. unfortunate for me. Behold, nature's true power. Okay, so Noxious Grasp, Morta Spark, Akaya's Wrath. Let's see. Trophy. So lots of things that kill stuff. How many lands we got in here? 25? Yeah. Hmm. Just gonna draw any. 3-4s are good against 3-3s three with Bell Hunt. Yeah, Ashiok's for Golos. Uh, this, you know, like, my decks haven't been 
updated. Some of these decks are old. Yeah, that's why Ashok's in here. Um, and take out a Soren. Take out two Knight of the Knight of Autumns. And take out a Tristani. And an Oath. Okay. Yep, Ashiok shut, would have shut down the Golo search ability. Um, also, other search cards like Circuitous Route. I have kept this on three. This card's really powerful. I'd have this on turn five. But I feel like if we keep Garrick, we're just not going to draw lands. That was a great card to have. <clears throat> Glad I didn't keep Garrick. Yeah, we're playing some Kethys. Kethys is a fun card to play. If I just play Bell Hunt, then they get to go Wicked Wolf, kill my Bell Hunt. That's unfortunate. I won't forgive this. <clears throat> this does let them have Veil of Summer available. So I guess I should just mortify on my turn. All right, was not punished. I'm not sure what Kethis writes there. Yes, I, I do think Legion's End is still good. Yeah, I think Legion then is still a good card. Even with Field of the Dead Band. Like it's it's just it's still a really good card. I'm so glad we didn't. I didn't keep the Kethis, or sorry, the Garrick. I didn't keep the Garrick a long time ago. I'm so glad that I didn't. Because we have not drawn any lands. We've actually, I've not drawn a, a single land this entire match. There we go. I just had to say something like that. Yeah, destroying that food was a pretty big deal. Because otherwise, they would have had the Wicked Wolf be able to eat these things. Wow. 
that hurts. So I can have Garrick kill Krasis, but then Garrick dies to Questing Beast. I guess I can double block Questing Beast to keep Garrick alive. Could have just gone Doom Whisperer, but that's a little risky. More risky, that is. Let's see how sharp my axe is. This has been a really good game. Don't know if I'm going to hold on or not. You know, if I'm going to get through all these threats, but it's just, this has been a good game in general, though. Your corpse will make a nice souvenir. I've suffered worse. Hey, Jatter. <sighs> if I still had Kethis around, I could go Tulsimer and Othakaya, but I can only do one thing now. All right, GG's, Ganaris. Team chat on the board. So Tulsimer was the safer play to not die immediately, but I wasn't being that Garrick. <laughs> GG's. All right, here we go. Team chat on the board. One more and it's a winning streak. So if you're, let's see who's going to be up next. All right, so if you are a subscriber and you want to be the next person to play, type the word battle into the chat, just like the other people are right now. Let's see who, who can get that second win for team chat there. All right, we've got a lot of people in here. Oh, ease them, retype. Re I think you misspelled it, Ezem. Yeah, it can be a brawl match. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, you can play. It's it's your match. You can play whatever you want. Okay, looks like everybody's in there. All right. Kendis! All right, Kendis, you are up. 
Uh, sorry, munchies. All right, there's my gamer tag. Of course, send me yours. There we go. All right, let's spin the wheel. Let's see what deck I'm playing up next. <laughs> I'm playing Candice's favorite deck, Jeskai Walkers. All right, Jeskai Walkers time. Okay. So, Jeskai Walkers. I feel like I already passed you. Oh, there you are. All right, this is our Jeskai Walker deck. You know, just a whole bunch of Planeswalkers, Spark Double, Sarkin, you know, kind of like the Teamer deck that we played earlier. Why is this? There we go. <laughs> Be kind to me, my jank has sensitive feelings. All right. Let's see, let's see what you got. What do I got? I'm not sure what I have. We have some anticipates. I don't like how it does like that bubble thing whenever you just have your cursor over, over that. I don't, I don't like that bubble thing. It's just kind of naturally, it's just kind of natural to have the cursor over in this area. And so that bubble thing comes up all the time. Okay. No, yeah, like so like Candace isn't watching watching my hand or anything. Alright, so we got a Simic deck. I'm looking for land. Clarion means those creatures need to go Clary off the battlefield. Chamber Guardian. Okay. We skydive in. Knowledge is the greatest. My plan is crystallizing. I'll protect you. So it looks like a looks like we got like a Simic Proliferate deck. That previous Kethis deck list. Um I mean easiest I know this is right here, I'll I'll try to find it to you find it for for you on YouTube. I'm just gonna type Abzan Hero Todd Stevens. See if, see if we can find that. All right, one from three weeks ago. That's got to be the newest one. So yeah, I guess I haven't haven't played it in three weeks. But there you go. There's the there's the list. Um, well, I guess the deck list is that's the video. The deck list has the video has the deck list in the description. I'm too old for this.
Focus and put thoughtfulness before action. No, I am not making this up as I go. I will learn what nobody yet knows. So yeah, of course, Narset reveals Clarion. We can do it instant speed with the fairy. That's just going to kill all the creatures. Looks like Clarion is good against Kendis' deck, which is very good for me, very bad for Kendis. I don't think I'd really want to change anything here. Yep, Suvisak, yep, it's sub-battle day. We're playing against Kendis here. All right, well, we'll be keeping. I got Clarion again. I need white mana, but this Anticipate should help out with that. That's all we're going to be looking for is white mana there. Spyglass. Well, we found white mana. So we're good to go there. Simic Ascendancy. So none of those were lands. Those who cannot postpone your prowess. So we, we did put one land to the bottom there, but it's only only one out of four cards being a land. So that's that was a good sign for us. So yeah, Spyglass is on Teferi. So Teferi is a goner. Meditate. Ah, uh, there's three prepare. lands there. And of course, hmm. So it's five mana to proliferate. It's us for there. Focus on what matters. Of course, Spyglass is colorless, so I'm not destroying it with Ugin either. Okay. Okay. My opponent's doing it. Or, oh, Kat Kendis. I won't say. Kendis is doing it. Not a war. Yeah, if yeah, if we 
Yeah, we could do brawl. Um, I mean, I, I don't. I guess. I said I really thought if we'd want to do best of three brawl. Because I guess that could take a while. You'd better hope you delay our quest no further. Hmm. What is my strategy here? So maybe maybe brawl would just be best of one. No, best of three brawl is not a thing, but like some some people want to but for just what, I, what I'm saying, but like, you know, we just do like, we just challenge three times to do two out of three. With like a best of one match, for example, we, we play, like if, you, if you're somebody that just plays best of one and you want me to play best of one as well, that's perfectly fine. I can do that. But what I've normally done for that is, um, is still do a best of three match, but I just don't sideboard, you know, so we just play th three games. You know, two out of three games. But I guess with doing that with Brawl with 25 life and everything like that, that can really add up. Ugin's so mean. Kendis is trying to Simic Ascendancy over there. Nobody yet knows. Do not defy the designs of Ether itself serves me. Tugin. Secrets manifest before you. Spark double so good. We definitely need the spark double to win that. We weren't going to win that otherwise. Uh, that was pretty mean by me. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Two Ugins make Mystic Forge free to cast. That's a good point. Maybe I should add a spark double into the Mystic Forge deck. Get two Ugins out there. Man, yeah. Think of like, how... how Cheap everything is with two Ugins in a colorless deck. All right, well, Kendis, G, G's. Yeah, two Tezzies. GG, Kendis. All right, so who's going to be the next subscriber to play? Type the word battle into the chat. No ex yeah, no exclamation mark, just the word battle. So for subscribers... Let's see who's going to be up next, and also what deck will I be playing up next. Ugin was so mean against Simic Ascendancy. Kendis, you're doing your thing there for a little bit. It looked pretty good. But then a bunch of removal, Planeswalkers, too mean. Okay, all the subs, last chance. Did you get in there? Looks like we got a lot of people in there right now. <laughs> Thanks, Matthew. Yeah, the, the last I saw, I was up 20 nothing. Last I saw. All right, looks like everybody got in there. Bertilux. All right, Bertilux, send me that gamer tag. There's mine, and I'm going to let the wheel decide for me. What am I, what deck am I going to be playing? Sultai Tokens. Oh, I thought that was on Orzhov Knights. I thought for sure that was on Orzhov Knights. All right, we're playing Sultai Tokens. Okay, 
So this was a donation deck. Whoa. This was a donation deck from like the beginning of the format, basically. From a long time ago. Blight Beetle. That Blight Beetle is gonna gonna get Bertilux. So yeah, we're going Woodland Champion, Dreadhorde Invasion, Love Struck Beast. We got the food stuff, two Wicked Wolves in here. All right, Soul Tie tokens. I know, right? If only Blight Beetle worked on Nissa lands. If only. Blight Beetle should say, like, permanence your opponent controls can't gain counters. The Goose. <laughs> you like your plus one plus one counters? Don't like Don't like Blight Beetle. Ooh, main deck duress. Okay. Um I guess we take Prison Realm. So I'm guessing this is Esper. Kind of guessing there. We've attacked three times. It's all been unblocked. We've dealt one damage. We dealt a lot more damage that time. Yeah, the goose doesn't get to attack very often. Yeah, that's why I felt like we should just be attacking with this goose. Let the goose get in there. No, I'm not planning on playing uh, Pioneer at all. Chill kill. Going for the wolf, going for the token. Good call, good call. All right, do a little scrying. Keep that. Just getting a little extra damage in there. Yeah, being being greedy. I should probably start turning these eggs. Well, that's bad for me. All right, looks like being greedy was wrong. Let's say maybe I should turn these eggs into three threes, and then I can lead to send it. Take this other egg. Get them exiled so they don't come back from dance with the mans. Today at FNM you had a 5-7 goose because of Garrick Emblem and two 
one one counters from finality. That's awesome. That's pretty awesome. It's possible this is just Orzov, not Esper. It looks like, but I mean, I guess, don't you want to be, es Esper gives you like the, you don't have a dance, dance with a man is blue, so you need blue for dance, can't really have Orzov dance. I guess you can still play, you can still play dance with these things. Presence alone, truth lies beyond vision. So be it. <laughs> All right, see you, Team Diabetes. Yeah, that trophy was a really good top deck. I was thinking, I was like, I probably don't have any removal for Ugin in this deck. I, I just don't even know if there is. Ugh, that castle lock twain looks pretty good over there. Leon doesn't look bad either. Rise. <laughs> All right, Bertalux got game one. Let's see what I got over here. I got Negates. I have Veil of Summer. I have Questing Beast. I uh, guess I'll play Ashiok. Why not? <laughs> thanks, thanks for the cheer there, Anon. I appreciate that. Um, so this is sixty seven. So there are a few trophies and a couple murderous riders. Love struck beast gets shut down if they kill the one one. I think I should cut the, the Woodland Champions, but I'm just going to cut a couple. I'm just going to cut the Vraskas and play Woodland Champions because I am playing a tokens deck. I, I'm just going to play the Woodland Champions, but I think that that should be the card to leave here. <laughs> Your opponent is playing. Is it Phoenix on full control? Uh, that does sound rough. So they're probably taking either Invasion or Ashiok, and we'll play the other one. Dream. 
Turn two, Ashiok. Is that as good as turn two, Oko? I don't like that I just exiled two Fable Passages. I want I want Bertolux to draw Fable Passage. Retreat. Um, I don't know that they don't have dance with the Mance. I kind of assumed that there's dance in there that's just going to be cast off of these things. I mean, it could be wrong. But I can't say for sure that there is no dance. Yeah, auto tap didn't really help me there. See, my Ashiok stopped this Cavalier of Dawn's Dawn return and stuff. Oh, whoops! I did not add. <clears throat> I did not add another food with Goose. With the goose. Ugh, that hurts. Because now, if I... That hurts. Because if I would play Wicked Wolf and they would Kaya's Wrath, then my Wicked Wolf would die to the next thing. I'll make sure this doesn't die just to one thing. Wow, what a perfect Ashiok that was. Got rid of Liliana and Ugin. So I fear they wouldn't have too many too many win conditions and everything. And Ashiok could do a good job there. All right, so they're down to just 24 cards. One Liliana, one Ugin, gone. Same with Ethereal Absolution, Gideon, Realm Cloak Giant. Elder Spell, Cavalier, Dawn. A lot of good cards. Hey, what's up, Toaster? Nah, no attack. I wouldn't really do any damage with this Revenge of Ravens over here. Yeah, I would have pushed one damage, but then I also would have taken one. And I, with with Revenge of Ravens, I, I don't really want to trade just one damage for one damage, honestly. I may have to trophy this castle.
And yep, yep, with Dreadhorde Invasion, my life total is going down, and I, I don't want, that's why I don't want to trade one for one life there. So as you can tell, attacking that other turn is definitely not a very good idea. I'm assuming just another Wrath here. They're willing to fire off the other ones. I think there's probably another backup Wrath. I don't know. I guess that that is the third Kai's Wrath, and one Realm Cloak Giant is gone. Could be waiting for this turn, because next turn these invasions... You know, next turn I have lifelink. And no, it's not lethal because of Revenge of Ravens. Yeah, it's true, and they also have the food they get to, sack to gain life if they want. No, did Bertalux get disconnected? I hope not. I don't think we've ever had disconnection problems before in these direct mass matches. It looks like it, though. Bertalux! Bird! I don't think there is a rope in direct challenge. Hey, what's up, whales? That's why, like, these extra times have just said zero the whole time. All right, there we go. Bertalux is back. All right, I had to restart. Gotcha. It froze up. No problem. I didn't quite have lethal there because of gaining seven life or eight life, gaining eight life with cracking the two food and the double raven. So it was gaining eight life. I was going to be attacking for 11. Burlux could go to 12. Hmm. Revenge of Ravens costs four mana, which is bad for Vraska. I'm gonna play him over the champions. All right, here we go.
was really considering shocking and getting Dreadhorde Invasion in. Instead. Wait, I cannot play Oko. All right, we're on tapping with the geese. We can either just get Oko in play immediately. All right, with us having an extra land, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to pay the two life, though. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel. I think our life total is kind of valuable with, with Dreadhorde Invasion and everything. All right, so Oko just turns this, this new Dreadhorde Invasion into a 4-4 every turn. Hey, Samurai Man. What's up? See how it is. Sending Oko to prison. Makes sense. Checks out. Go ahead. Oh, the day is yours. I'll shear the wool from your eyes and spin you cleric. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. What if Bitter Blossom gave you a 4-4 four -four every turn? I invite you to change your ways. It's pain is our game. <laughs> That's your deck, Better Blossom. Uh, sorry, Beto. Against some McFood decks. Um, yeah, it's no, it's it's tough. Um, beating the Simic Food decks for sure. Just sacrifice one of these? I guess that thing. Um I don't know, it's I don't know if I have like a a real good form of advice just for not knowing, you know, like what you're playing or anything. Um Your new look is enchanting. Yeah, so I guess I'm I'm not sure. You know, yesterday I played three you know, I played I was playing decks that I thought could do good against Simic Food on stream. That's what we were doing yesterday. Yeah, that's that's just kind of how mirror matches are a lot like that. Who draws better cards, kind of thing. I mean, I think I do think Soltai is is the best in the Simic mirrors. I would recommend playing Soltai. So I switched up my plan here and sacrificed that uh, creature that was going to be a 4-4 because I kind of figured that they would be able to, like, they're probably going to be playing a Wrath here. 
That was my that was my guess. There there'd be a wrath effect, and so that extra creature wasn't very valuable. And we have a whole lot of pressure here with eight power anyway. Orzov control though. Bertolux did pretty good. I just had an awesome hand here with Invasion, Oko, Frasca, all that kind of stuff. No, I'm not I'm not planning on cycling Veil, because I've seen Elder Spell in Bertolux's deck, so you so I'm not cycling this Veil. Yeah, Orzov Prison. I guess somebody decided to come up and say hi. All right, GG's there, Bertilux. GG's. Okay. Uh, where's my GG's? My GG's. Okay, let's see who's going to be up next. If I can type here. Okay, so if you're a subscriber, you want to play up next, type the word battle into the chat. Fiery Aspen has been on it today. He's been been the first up every time. You had a Mortify and another Revenge. Okay. Yep. Um, GG's there, Bertaluxia. My... My Assassin's Trophies, like that double trophy turn, was a killer for sure. <laughs> Rayclair's struggling over there. Oh, really? That Ashiok? It did get rid of a lot of good cards. That very last Ashiok um, activation was really clutch hitting Ugin and Liliana. That very last one. Okay, looks like everybody is in there. Let's see who we are facing. Jazabek. All right, Jazabek, you're up next. Send me that gamer tag. And I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel. See what deck I'm playing. Hey, messenger. Send, send me your gamer tag. There's my gamer tag. Ooh, I'm playing Golgari Troll. So to, to find your gamer tag, you know, hit the direct challenge. It's this this thing right here. And capitalization, everything matters. So just just copy, just copy paste that. If you can copy paste, I don't know. Hey, Flickr Docs, getting the sub there. Welcome to stream, Flickr Docs. Yeah, these are all decks that we've played before on stream over the last month. Okay, cool. All right, now, whenever you go, also when you go to the direct challenge, make sure that it says format best of three, like right here. You don't don't change anything else, just change format to, to say best of three. All right, and here's our Golgari troll deck. Yeah, we're probably gonna restart after this match here. Okay. All right, Golgari Troll. Um, it went away. 
Gotta hit direct challenge twice. Yeah, just just change the just change the setting to say best of three. You don't have to change anything else, Jazzabek. Just click the direct challenge, hit the drop down menu, change it to be to say best of three. Yeah, yeah, I, I do think yeah, troll does work with well with mayhem devil, because um, if they want to sacrifice one of the goats to tap the troll, that you also get the ping damage as well. Yeah, I think those work work well together. You know, clack bridge troll being your top end. All right, awesome, Jazbek, got it. So here we go. Is it is it six one? Is that right? I don't remember if I updated after the match there with Bertilux. I don't remember. I think I did. Hey, good job, Rogobop. You just took down an Oko Brawl deck with Kethis, with the Kethis Abzan deck that we played the other day. That's awesome. Good job, Rogobop. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yep, yep. Yeah, you could have could have stayed alive at one with the eggs that last game, Bertilux. Ah, uh, thanks for Galliath. Thank you so much. Burglar rat. Burglar rat's so good. I already mulliganed. No, Oko is not bad. No, whenever the person said they gave up on Oko, it means like gave up on trying to beat the Oko decks. Because Oko is incredibly good in Brawl. <laughs> Even playing an Oko versus Oko in Brawl for the last 45 minutes? <laughs> Dang. That's so many minutes. The ends justify the means. Um, I'm not sure how playable the Brawl reward cards are. I have to, you know, really take a look at them again. I, I don't really remember what they do or anything. You haven't played any Brawl vs. Oko yet? Yeah, because the people that play Oko and Brawl, they, they're just trying to get their five wins, and then they're, then they're done. They don't play any more Brawl. Etrata. Etrata. So Etrata is only whenever it does damage to a player, so not not Planeswalker. Oh, good hits. Well, don't let it go to your head. Going to die anyway. Yeah, Return of the Wild Speaker is underrated. I'm gonna empty my hand for Castle. I'm gonna spark double Etrata. It looks like. Yep, yep. Uh, 
All right, so we have our... Wait, what? Oh, because it has to target the creature, so Paradise Druid doesn't get exiled. Oh. They would get rid of Clackbridge Troll, though. Now I feel bad for sacking the other Paradise Druid. Sorry, Hawkeye, okay, excuse me. Exactly. We didn't we didn't make the Clackbridge Troll deck to not play Clackbridge Troll. Exactly. So Clackbridge Troll is doing five damage to my opponent. Everyone is expendable. I think I'm supposed to just sacrifice Except the troll, right? Him. No, maybe not. I guess we. I think I, I think I'm supposed to force them to shuffle any Trotta back. Get one of these Etratas off the battlefield. Seven unblockable damage a turn is a lot of damage. You'll regret that. Okay, I like this pen. I'll throw it over here. Huh. We just... Just cast in Murder Rider? I, I feel like that was a misclick. Yeah, I didn't kill the rider here. So yeah, I could have minus killed rider so that rider doesn't kill Garrick. I guess I was a little scared of thief, like where I want to be able to have Raska be able to kill thief. That's probably a mistake. Probably should just keep um, Garrick alive. Ooh, we neoforming into Etrata. That's what we're doing over here. That's pretty cool. I'll survive this. I've suffered worse. Well, good thing we ticked up, so we got to draw that extra card, so we got to Ugin. We pop out moats in this six be bathed in ghost fire. Yeah, it turns out filling your deck with a bunch of really good six mana planeswalkers is a good spot to be.
All right, a whole bunch of lands down to the bottom. <clears throat> I definitely should have ticked up on Ugin first before scrying, though. That's the wrong sequence. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Looks like they're both overgrown tombs, so it didn't didn't matter. Teferi Time Twist is, is underrated. Teferi's Time Twist is underrated. No, Joker, I didn't see that, but yeah, it's... I, I would expect that to be good enough for Modern. Um, Oko and Goose. I'm assuming Wizards is... <laughs> Beta says, and another loss against Doko. No way to win against it. I I'm kind of assuming the Wizard sees the, the win percentage that Oko decks have. I'm assuming they do. Azov's pretty sweet. Azov copy. <clears throat> copy Trata. I don't think... Oh, they don't have the mana to, to do it anyway. I was going to say, I don't think the CMC changes. And then of course I realize they don't have the mana to do that anyway. Or destroy. So I'm kind of I'm a, I'm honestly kind of expecting something to happen. The next BNR, honestly. I don't know if it's Oko or Nissa, Krasis, Once upon a time. But basically, at this point, obviously that, that could change next week. But at this point, I'd be surprised if every green card survives uh, the next BNR. But the thing is, is like these green decks are so good that it doesn't, it's like they'll still be just fine with, you can take any card out of their decks, they'll be just fine. Yeah, Oko plus one ing Safara, turn it into an elk is brutal for sure. Um, so Ashiok would stop Neoform. Well, we're on the draw, so we're going to draw some spells to go with all these lands. Samurai Man, you mean like the movie Logan? The Wolverine movie? I never saw that.
ごいぞすごいぞすごいぞすごいぞすごいぞすごいぞすごいぞすごいぞすトゥーティーフスプリスウィーツ。Probably nothing good over there. So, in case there's like Teferi's time twist, we gotta do this upkeep. Or even if there's just counter magic, have Fury use the counter magic on their turn so that it's more likely at least Golgari Queen would get in there. All right, so that's my questing beast. So I think I go troll next turn. Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing troll next turn. I guess playing troll is bad for Liliana. But I didn't come here not to play Blackbridge troll. So Liliana would not have really worked anyway. Because they would have had the burglar rat anyway. This land, we are all connected. Land will not forsake you. Mm. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just concede. I guess I should have ticked up immediately. All right, so my own questing beast is a difficult card for me to beat. I don't know, why do I have both these Legion Sends in here? Those can go. I missed those Legion Sends. Those can go. Questing Beast is a card of reasonable power level with elegant and logical design. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. 
Are there cards in blue and green that destroy artifacts? Green has some, blue does not. But green has, there's, there are a lot of different options with, with that um, for green. Easiest thing to do is just on arena, under like the, the card search, you know, like just go to collection or whatever, go to card search. And then, you know, set it up so it's, so it's on green cards and type the word artifacts in basically. Type, type the word artifact in um, and just, you know, like, so all the cards that say the word artifact on the text will pop up kind of thing. But yeah, there's there's a bunch. Yeah, Thrashing Bronzedon, Return to Nature, Crushing Canopy, if that's still in the format. So yeah, that's that's what I'd recommend doing to see what works for you. You won't see the end coming until it's too late. An unfortunate casualty. The champion Let's of the wilds. I really like that card. It's a cool card. Fortunately, it's going to get eaten by Vraska. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you here, but that's a cool card. Yes, when the season ends, everybody goes down to like, I think I think it's two ranks. But yeah, you always always decrease in rank at the end of the season so that it incentivizes you to continue playing and try to get back to where you were and everything. So it's every month. Yeah, I kind of feel like the one month is too short. Because um, I was thinking about that even with, like, limited. Like, I don't have that much time to play very much limited. And so I don't like, you know, like, for me trying to get, like, a high rank in limited is really difficult with it resetting every month, honestly. I don't know if it's exactly too... Um, It, there's like a chart somewhere where it says like whatever wherever you're at the wherever you're set to I, I don't know if it's if it's exactly two tiers for everybody I don't know everyone is expendable. Well, Goblin Piker Aggro is what I got going on over here. I do not want Risen Reef being reset. But they basically get their Risen Reef trigger anyway. 
that was just a land that goes into play. Yeah, mill decks, mill decks are kind of viable. They were they were better before the recent banning of Field of the Dead. The mill decks were built to beat Field of the Dead, honestly, and so the mill deck mill decks took a big hit with the uh, the last banning. Bonder Revival is pretty sweet. Oh, I was going to be able to play the troll. Keep my opponent alive. Give him some O1s to block with. Yeah, Goblin Piker aggro. Doing its thing. Got there with a bunch of two ones. Vraska drew, drew me enough cards so that, you know, looks like my opponent had a lot more lands, but I got to just sack a few lands to draw extra cards. And there we go. All right. So that is um, part two of our sub battle stream. Um, so for, for those of y'all watching on YouTube, hope you've been enjoying it. And please hit the like button over there leave a comment as well um and then i'll see you on over for part three which we are going to start right now so so thanks for watching again and i'll see you for part three click on over there